and then press this big button and it's quite snappy. Let's see, push a nut and then pull a nut and reset it. This knife right here is very collectible. They sell super fast for lots of money. So yeah, a couple thousand dollars easy. And I'm talking about they sell instantly. So number 12 out of 99, 1235 Microtech. Look at that. It's, looks pretty complicated. There's a locking and unlocking mechanism as well, like a frame lock. So you put it on fire and then press this big button and it's quite snappy. I almost flew away from my uh, fingers. And this is a dagger style with a double serrated blade on a button and it's quite nice and thick. Look how thick that blade is, but it thins out pretty good. Like a miniature sword. Okay, so you let's see, push a nut and then pull a nut and reset it. Then put it on safety, good to go. And let's see how it kicks. Fire. Wow. Almost not much to press. It flies out. Let's see if it pulls whilst it's on safety. Nope. You gotta keep it on fire, then you can reset it. And one more time. Yeah, barely touch over here and flies out. These things are incredibly collectible. I know what I paid for it, but they resell for two thousand dollars. I'm talking about instantly. So many people want these knives and they haven't made them in a long time. So yeah, there you go. Usually Microtech is pretty good by telling us what year it was made in. But yeah, not this one. Again, frame lock, pull on it, reset it, and again, flies out like crazy. I can't even see. Um, look at that. It's a long pull. Locks in, safety. Number 12 out of 99. So yeah, this is probably my favorite Microtech. Maybe because they don't make them anymore. And it's just so complicated too. Look at that. There's a lot of smaller ones, but they usually don't make this one's uh, mass production. Okay, what nuts on safety. It's not gonna fly out. Love that little knife. Comes with the like a little holder in here, so that way it's another safety by just locking it in in here. So even if you by mistake take it off a safety, it's not a big deal. It's not going to inject it, um, eject it. So keep it on safety, super nice. Then take it out. Most of the time I won't be using it inside here, in and out because it's so collectible. I don't want to scratch up the frame, even though it fits pretty good. It doesn't scratch it too much after a while it will show wear and tear a little bit but still used look is not the worst either this knife will sell so fast probably within an hour or less minutes of posting most likely